Yo, what's up? It's Grim560, Mr. 560 to you, 560 Gaming coming here to you with uh, DC Unchained. I didn't forget the name. I just was looking at something. <laughs> DC Unchained. This is the rival now to Marvel Future Fight. This is with DC characters. It's out by a company called 433, like 433 p.m. Uh, Creative Labs or 433 a.m., whatever you want to call it. Yeah, 433 Creative Labs made this game, and it looks pretty polished. Uh, it's in beta right now, and, um, you know, I got myself a copy of it. Don't ask me how I got it. Look, I'm not going to tell you. You do whatever you got to do. But, uh, yeah, so I signed in, got myself started with this thing, and um, they have a tutorial they send you through. It's pretty dope. Um, there's a lot of rewards they're offering people for the beta. I've already got uh, a lot of gems. I believe gems are probably going to be the the gems, the purple gems or bluish purple gems are going to be the uh, system that they use to that you will probably pay for. Um, either receiving rewards during the uh, during normal gameplay, or uh, you could possibly pay for them and then maybe convert them to these gold uh, stars here. So, um, right now I'm just collecting some rewards. I signed it earlier, did, ran through the uh, tutorial. It was pretty dope. Um, it was actually a very simple run through. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it's because of the way I have the settings, but I'm gonna try to see if I can up maybe up the frame rate. Um, it seems a little bit, uh, not clunky, but uh, it just didn't seem very smooth at first. But it wasn't like to the point where I was like, oh my god, I can't play this game, it's horrible. It's like, it's very minimum, you don't really notice it. Uh, so, from what I see, they have these cards, okay? And I'm guessing if you were playing Future Fight, the cards are like the biometrics. And um, you can use these cards to, you can use these cards to recruit or bring in new, new peoples, heroes or villains. Um, there are heroes, villains, and they're neutral. So let's say I tap here on the Batman symbol. These looks like all the symbols from the Justice League. So I'm going to select all of those. All right. Batman, Wonder Woman, reward list. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see. I got six more. And I'm guessing that the more cards you have, the more, um, the more, uh, cards you have the more you can rank your characters up things like that it's pretty much like a direct clone of future fight uh, but there are some differences um, and I'll show you what that is let's see the exchange this must be the store ah I see you can exchange cards for a bigger one select the card you want for exchange nine of cards for exchange um, I'm not really worried about that gold card you need how many silver cards for a gold card I'm not sure about this card system yet but um, let's take a look at some of this stuff here skins ah looks like uh, ah the skins are um, like the uniforms in Marvel Future Fight um, let's see what this is Dark Knight Strike SP cost cooldown 13 seconds dashes into enemies dealing damage so these are his skills. Um, you need SP to use the skills. Then there's a cooldown. So you need. That's a major difference because with Future Fight, there's no uh, exchange of energy or anything like that to use the skills that you have in Future Fight. So when you when you unlock a skill, it's there. You can use it whenever you want. You just gotta wait for it to cool down. Uh, looks like you can upgrade the skills using the cards. I'm going to wait to do that because I don't know exactly how far I can go with the cards. These here, what are these? I forgot what those were. So, this shows you which level you are. Uh, I'm Batman. I gu I'm guessing Batman is a speed type character. Let's see. Let's see what his unique skills are. Unique skill. This is his leader skill. Increases affinity bonus by 10% if a team is composed of characters that do not share types okay so if it's three different type of uh, affinities then he increases that together increases power technique vitality and mentality of all allies by 
one if team is composed with characters that do not share types can we what's this an upgrade level one to level two you need a card to do that team member okay I see there's the leadership skill and the team member skill so I'm guessing the unique skills are the passive skills well here's a passive skill here takes 30 takes 30 reduced damage power from damage from power type enemy okay it's like they have a lot of little differences here so he they have multiple passive skills and looks like you got to reach these different levels to unlock so I'm only level one um, Batarang throws a Batarang to deal damage all right, so these are like the active skills in Future Fight. I'm gonna have to compare this to Future Fight because this is all I really have to go by. So down here is this little, um, this little uh, character pop-up screen. So it looks like you can see which characters have cards, which characters have types. Let's see. I guess it's going by who's got the most strengths, who don't. Let's take those guys out. This must be combat, speed, possibly blast characters. If I take out these two, you see the combats. I've already unlocked Wonder Woman and Superman. Superman is really weird looking. I'm sorry to say they never changed it from the from the from the actual They never changed it from the actual look of him before. Like I mean up close is not bad, but far away he looks Asian. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, these are his skills. I got some cards for them. I'm gonna worry about getting into these active and passive skills in a moment. Looks like everything is upgradable. EXP book can be used to acquire EXP. So, let's see what we got here. Use potions or gems to recover stamina. All right. Let's see else. What else we got? See your skins. Oh yeah, that's dope. Can I zoom in on that? Nope. Looks like the skills give you different. The skins give you different skills. That's pretty fucking awesome. Equip Valorium to activate Valorium. So I'm guessing. Valorium must be something along the lines of ISO 8. Let's see. Account level 10. Tactic setting. Crisis control. Hmm. Not sure what that's about, but we'll take a look at that. These are comic card covers. So I guess you can build up different comic cards. Different art for his comic cards but they call them covers they don't call them cards they cover call them covers before future fight used to call um the comic cards that you have now they used to call them covers uh they used to call them comic covers so they kind of took that same aspect from there what's this oh this shows you exactly who uh it's like gives you his uh you turn them yeah it basically shows you it's like the equivalent that's like the equivalent of the Marvel Universe and Future Fight. You're like you're probably like why are you always cover well, I mean that's who we gotta go by. Let's see who I can put on here for my team. Let's put I'm Batman. Yeah. So what I like about this is you get five teams. Okay, you get five teams of heroes, you get five teams of villains. And you also get five teammates from, I'm guessing, your uh, alliance characters. The alliance is kind of weird. I'm trying to figure that out. It's a lot to go by. and um, But it is what it is, you know. Okay, so there's here's the, the Batman family. Awesome. The Wonder Woman family. Yo, these graphics are actually pretty fucking dope. I like the shell cell shaded looks. Superman family. It's the Aquaman family. I've already got two of these people. I didn't unlock Aquaman. I could have, but I probably will. 
The Flash family, I unlocked Captain Cold, Leonard Snart, robber of ATMs. I had to do it. It's the Green Lantern family. That's dope. I'm guessing they'll come out with more families as time goes on, especially with villains. Teens. Here's the shop. Let's go into the shop. I don't have enough gems for anything, for any of that. Gold card selector, 8,000. Gold card selector, epic. I'm guessing this is kind of like the... Uh, I'm guessing this is kind of like the uh, the premium uh, the premium hero chest, sort of like that. Gems. Oh, you can purchase gems. Oh, two dollars and some odd change. Two dollars and eighty cents. Nine dollars and thirty-three cents. Star Labs Research Fund. War of Chess. Aries. Da da da. Wow. Catwoman stolen wallet. <laughs> so yeah, the gems are product not available yet. Let's see gold. So exactly like I was thinking, the gold is uh, the gems are exchangeable for gold. Mileage. What is this? Use mileage to purchase one gold card ticket. I'm not sure if I got any mileage. I I don't have any. Timed product. 10 available for purchase. Flash silver card. Okay. Not sure what the time product. Oh, I see. There's 10 minutes left to purchase this. So these are like um, featured items. Building module. Use gold to purchase building module. This product can be purchased up to 10 times. We'll purchase one of those. Not sure what they do, but. Ah, as they as you purchase them, they go up in price. Word. What's this here? Chat. All chat. Channel. Guess you can change the channel. Friends. How do I find friends? Keyword notification. Okay. Guild. Join the guild party. I can't become. Uh, I can't join the guild until. Um, let's see. You don't have any friends. Search. Let's search. Search name. We'll go to. Dead metal. My boy said he was on here. He's the one that let me know that it was out. Add him. He's level two right now. All right. We got Black Neek. Okay. Special characters cannot be used. Okay, we'll just put it like that. There we go. All right. Sent requests. Receive requests. No one wants to play with me. All right. Cover art. Facebook exchange. Daily box. Option. Guild. Achievements. Okay, social support guild member times 30 request guild support add 10 friends new member day one reward CBT events all right got a couple of those already you are now friends with black neek yeah buddy I wonder how this shit works son Messages will not be sent to the players offline. Party, guild, system. Whisper? How do I send him a message? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this shit looks alright. I like this right now. I like this. What do you think so far? 
He'll hit me back. See, let's go to the help. Character growth, character level. Use EXP to increase the character's level. Character stats and number of skills available for use will increase with level ups, as well as access to Valorium equipment. Earning EXP. Characters can do missions. They can earn EXP without directly participating in the mission by using EXP books obtained from, from Unchained and through Dispatch. So I'm guessing EXP books are like uh, the XP cards, the XP chips that you use in Future Fight. All right, let's see ranking. Increasing rank. There is max level for each rank, and ranks can be increased upon reaching max level. Increased ranks results to increase max level, and certain stats will also be improved. All right. Active skills are skills you can use during the battle. New active skills are unlocked when the character reaches levels 1, 5, 21, 41, 63, and a maximum of three active skills can be equipped. Skills can be upgraded to level 5. Silver cards are the of the corresponding characters required for upgrade. Or family cards can be used in lieu of silver cards. Okay, I see. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were just looking at that. Wait, no. Now! Come back to the help. Passive skills. Passive skills is a skill that becomes automatically activated during battle. New passives are unlocked when the character reaches all these levels. Maximum of two skills can be equipped. Unique skill. Unique skill varies by whether the character is leader or member. Skills can be upgraded to level five. Silver cards of the corresponding characters required for upgrade of family or family cards can be used in lieu of silver cards. All right, so once again, I have to compare this to Future Fight because it's pretty much a direct clone. So if you get upset with me talking about it, then fuck off because I love Future Fight. Marvel Future Fight is dope and I've always wanted to know what it would be like to play a game that's like Marvel Future Fight but with DC characters and this is it. And it's pretty much a direct clone. The passive skill and unique skill system are actually a lot different. Um, it looks like you can move the active skills around. Um, a maximum of three skills can be equipped. So you only get three skills to use, but you also have two passive skills and two unique skills. and um, Or uh, one unique skill, I guess. So what's great about the passive skills is you probably can get more than two and just can swap them out as you want. Whereas in Future Fight, the passive skills, you get them by rank ranking up to a certain level, and then you only get two. You get one when you, uh, when you reach like level three, or when you reach... Uh, the third rank and then you get another one uh, when you get the person to tier two purchasing up get gears purchased with gold and can be upgraded with character gold card one gear can be can be equipped at a time for active skills upgrade gear to level five to unlock unique option change option option can be changed by using gold touch the question mark button to find details of the option and its value change many options at once to get a discount okay all right, Valorium. Where to acquire? Valorium grade, common, rare, epic, legendary, celestial, or the five Valorium grades. Higher grade means stronger options. Valorium grades cannot be changed, but its option value can be increased via upgrade. <coughs> hmm, I'm not sure about that. So the grade of the Valorium can't be changed. But the options can be upgraded. Golden refined required to upgrade Valorium. Valorium can be upgraded up to level 10. And value increases with each upgrade Valorium stats. Okay. Alright. Color match. Boom, boom, boom. What else they got here? Cover. Gather all covers from, one to, from number 1 to 9 and combine them to create a cover. Cover levels up when the number of materials needed exceeds the requirement. As the cover levels up, the other gains new stats or bonus to existing stats. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, let's see. skin. Equip the skin to use it in battle. Skin is applied for 20 seconds and skin skill can be used. Really? Only 20 seconds? Okay. Um, team, team training. Team level can be leveled up through team training. How 
Team Effect works. Team Effect becomes available when the team consists of a specific combination of characters. Assign more team members or raise Team Effect level to increase the effect. So, uh, it's just like a team bonus in, um, in Marvel Future Fight when you put a few different characters together. Like, um, there's a team bonus when you put uh, Black Bolt, Crystal, and um, Black Bolt, Crystal, and Medusa together on a team. It's like you get like four additional bonuses that go along with having that team. All right, family effect. Gather all characters that belong to a family to increase a family character strength to level up family effect. How family effect works. Choose family effect if you wish to use, which can be found in team screen. Well, we're gonna have to get back, get into playing this. All right. What's the guide saying? These must be like uh, <coughs> missions. What to do? It's like your daily missions. I'm I'm assuming this is like your daily missions. Dodge skill. Use the dodge skill to escape from surrounding enemies or tricky situations. Okay, let's try it. This is the dodge skill. So this punch button here. Alright, cool. Okay, what happened? Did it just freeze on me? I like that the levels are like you can go up and down in levels. Dodge, man. Press the dodge button in the combo and. Each character owns a unique dodge skill. Learn each of them thoroughly to use them accordingly. Yeah, well, I could have been using it if that damn thing wasn't in the way. Did a little tool tip. I'm not sure if I did that right, but. All right, dodge skill guide. Receive, I did that, cool. Flash silver card, combo attack. So this is kind of like the, um, this is like an extension of the, um, this is like an extension of the, of the tutorial. The higher combo you make, the more gauge of HP potion is filled. When gauge is fully filled, HP potion can be used. SP recovery. HP potion heals 50% of max HP of this of this batch characters. Okay, let's try this. You see how I'm saying like stop the attack or use evasion to stop your combo. This will fill your AP potion gauge. Okay, I see. I'm filling up the combo. The combo is filling up the gauge. If I use the evasion to stop attacking, the gauge will convert to the potion. Each H HP potion has been fully charged. Use HP to heal your character. Okay, alright, cool. these little boxes see this is the only thing I'm worried about is this uh hit this box it's right there oh, yeah any other boxes in here I can hit yeah let's go let's go green lizard lantern I didn't want shoddy these are his skills The dodge system I see there making that uh okay awesome
the Dodge system, they're making that a uh, a big part. Use combo evasion and HP potion wisely to bring victory to your side. Okay. So it's like, from what I'm seeing, you have to use the dodge in conjunction with your combos. And because of the fact that everything is a bit clunky, because of the fact that everything's a bit clunky, you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, what's going on with that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, don't want to remove him, no. Let's go to options. Let's see what we can do about uh, increasing this. Graphics are on high. Frame rate is on high. It's not very. Uh, we can turn the vibration off. We don't need that. Let's see. Background music, sound effects. All right, all right. It's like normal. Dialogue is on. Navigation is on. Navigation is that little line you saw, which was telling you which way to go. Um, I may turn it off, but for right now, I'm going to leave it on. Notifications, all push, notification push, multiplayer invite, base push, not sure what those are. Touch screen to move in game, virtual pad, <coughs> <coughs> fixed virtual pad position. <coughs> We're going to put that on because the virtual pads just stay in one spot. Info, terms and conditions. Sign in with Google. Am I signed in? Oh, I'm already signed in. Privacy policy, support, coupon, terms and conditions. We'll worry about that later. I'm pretty sure I'm not even invited to this, John. But I decided to crash the party. What's this? Come on, Neek. Hit me back. Oh, you can turn the notifications on or off. For the chat, that's dope. You can't do that with Future Fight. I can see, um, whatchamacallit, really going uh, hard trying to emulate certain things that these guys are going to do because it looks like they got something very unique. Chain attack. Chain, 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 chain. Chain. Mm. It loads very fast. I, literally, you just saw I press the button in like 15 seconds, not even that long, 10 seconds, the game loaded. And that's a huge difference with Future Fight because everything is based on time in Future Fight and the loading takes forever sometimes. It could literally take 30 seconds for the game to load just to do something like a co-op mission and co-op missions and if you're like at crunch time and it's starting to get down to the time where the game is going to reset at its daily reset you might just end up losing out on your co-op rewards because you can't get through it in time so seeing this game load so fast is a good thing but as you can see the frame rate isn't really that cool all characters can perform chain attack follow the guy for better understanding okay come on back baddie 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 continuously use skills move to the next area oh, I don't even need to use the potion cool down reduction okay I like that Turn option. Let's go to option. Okay, alright, so this is basically what I just saw. Okay. Return. Baddy, 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 baddy! Throw the batarang to the incoming enemies to leave Batman's mark on them. Use Dark Knight Strike to enemies with Batman's mark. Oh, nice! Nice moves, nice moves. So that's like a chain attack. Okay, I see that. Awesome. Throw them. Use chain skills to acquire powerful skill effects. Each character has different chain skills, so check them out. Dope. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. I like that. I, I think I'm going to like this game. I think I'm going to love this game. 
Uh, let me see that. Take that. Thank you. Exclusive tag skill. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. So you're kind of getting used to. This is teaching you the mechanics of the game, which is dope. So you know, every game that's a good game will teach you the mechanics of the game because there's no such things as um, instruction manuals anymore. Let's see. If you create a team with special characters, they will use special skill upon making an entrance or win tag. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Tag Supergirl. Okay, so Superman decided to use the back out. Tag to eliminate the enemies. Tag. Okay. Oh, I can't tag just yet. Okay. Word. Proceed to the next area. Use a combination of attacks and tags to defeat the enemies. Awesome. Tag skill consumes EX. Try teaming up with other characters to discover a variety of tag skills. So this is the EX down here, and this is the SP down here. So the SP is what you use for your special your skills like your special attacks um, and I and as you're playing that that goes up okay cool wonderful all right thank you let's go re receive that character affinity It's a weird looking Superman, but honestly, I don't really care at this point. Character affinity. Here we go. Power, speed, energy. So, blast, combat, speed. Speed is, seems to be... So, as rock, paper, scissors. Characters are classified according to the type. Speed type enemy has appeared. So, energy people have uh, advantages over power. So, it's pretty much just like Future Fight. Same exact thing, different affinities, same things. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, think about the hand as the rock, the, the speed symbol as the scissors, and the energy as like the paper. Rock, paper, scissors. Select Wonder Woman. I did hit it. win the battle is best to select a character that has type advantage over the opponent yeah unless you got people who are just fucking ridiculously powerful it doesn't matter what your thing is so awesome leader skill let's start the guide on leader effect each character owns a unique leader effect leader effect only applies when selected as team leader Okay. Select a leader. Check the leader effect for each character. The effect it gives is different when it's not leader. Details of the leader effect can be checked. Form a team based on the, on the effect to create a powerful team. Form a powerful team by creating a team based on your leader's unique effect. Reach account level two. Gotta do story missions. Battle, mission. Ah. Alright, well, let's play through the story. So, what I like this is you have two different types of stories hero and villain. You can play through the villain story. Yes, I love it. 
let's go with hero for right now we'll, we'll be like normal and how do I get how do I, how do, I do this oh, I'll see okay I see <coughs> Touch for a while to move your character. Okay, uh, what's his leadership skill? How do I see that again? Oh, snap! You can bring in supporting characters. Available friends. We'll put him in there. Supporting characters. Let's put in... Move Batman over that way. Okay. I don't want Batman in there. Batman. I'm Batman. Put him in there. Okay. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You have a usable character. Who the fuck? Use them. That's all I want. Let me put in Superman as a support. Nice Let's turn support on one time. Thank you. Appreciate that. Go back. What? What happened? Oh. Let's give. Uh, let's put her in there. And who else we got? Okay, Captain Cold. Let's go back, and I guess we can start the game. Now. Do I start? Oh, now I'll start. So there's an energy thing here that costs ten energy to start. I'm guessing that oh, uh, this is the repeat. I'm guessing this is my energy. Use either potions or gems. To recover stamina. Well, their stamina is okay, so I'm good. Unchained can be accessed either on the heroes or villain side. How fast this shit loads, man. The artwork is fucking dope. I'm not even gonna lie. How much battery life I got left. Story mission cannot be proceeded with an alliance. It's meaning, I guess you can't go forward with your alliance team. Crushed symbolism. Batman. So Batman's a speed character. I would have made him combat, but he is a speed character. Let's see what the camera does. Oh, there's three different cameras. Let's go to number one. Dun, 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 dun. The Hall of Justice. What's happening? Get that. Let's bring in the flash. Yeah. Yeah. Barry Allen. Uh -uh. Get him, Flash. Hmm. Hmm. Can we throw that lightning bolt?
Bring in the boy wonder. It's fucking awesome, dude. It's the boy wonder. Stand still, Barry. Love it. They finally, DC finally has a game worthy of me fucking wanting to play. Uh, besides Injustice. Let's see. Story Mission Hollow Edition. I got it. Clear time. 2 minutes 52 seconds. What's this? Oh, you can take, you can have pictures and shit. That's fucking awesome, yo. That's fucking dope. That is fucking dope. Oh, that was the finishing thing there? That's fucking dope. Next stage. Let's go to the next stage. Let's just keep it moving. Let's just keep it moving. It's going to take me a moment to kind of get the handle on how they put the game mechanics together. I'm so used to playing the future fight that this is probably going to be take a moment to get into. Uh, I dedicate a lot of time to future fight. I've got so many things going on in my life. It's going to be kind of hard to balance the two, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best to try. How about I skip this and just keep it going? Let's just fight. I want to fight. I don't want to talk. I want to fight. Baddy, baddy. Put this on auto. Oh, it's auto playing. Go ahead, Batman. Hey, Batman. Yes, I like that the auto play isn't like right there in front of your fucking face. And you can put repeat on from the gate. <coughs> Let's tag him out. Flash in there. So the SP and the E and the the EX they fill up. I'm guessing because of different combos he does. But you use SP whenever you use one of your skills. Semi. Nope. Turn it off. I guess semi auto means you only do but so much. Nice. 
Come on, man. Roll, roll. What are you doing over here, man? Not a damn thing. So like I said, it's a little bit, maybe as I get, as time goes on and they get, they get their skills increase and their levels go up, things like that, they'll get faster, because they're moving pretty slow, and like I said, it's a little, it's like sticky, like it, but you know what, the boss, I'm the boss, need the info, let's bring in Batman, oh I'm sorry, I brought in the Flash. These guys, none of these guys have an advantage because they're all, because they're all speed. I got one more of these things that I could use in here. Who are you? I'm Batman. Die, fucker. Yeah, that's worthy of a screen. Let me see if there's another angle that's worthy of a screenshot. Let's see, Let's see what we got here. Can't move around. Only got two stars out of that. That's dope. All right, let's just keep moving. But, um, so this is DC Unchained. I'm going to continue to play, but I think I'm going to end this video. It's been going on for quite a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try to bring more videos about this game, or at least just some more gameplay videos and see how things work out. Uh, when I get up in levels with these guys and my um, character level, my profile level goes up, I'll try to make some more videos just so people can see. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. You guys take it easy, all right?